Hey guys, Brianna Smith here from Channel 7. We are at Spartanburg Community College right off of Business 85. And I just want to show you a little bit of what we are going through after that tornado warning that just happened here. And I'm going to turn this around and show you exactly what we're seeing. This is a semi that has obviously come off of Business 85 right here and is laying in the roadway. We have cars with windows blown out. Here's the college. We've been told that there are windows blown out on Spartanburg Community College's Health and Sciences building. You can see trees split and down. There's a direct path. You can see it right across here that comes right through there. Now this is not as bad as it gets. Obviously you can see there's a sheriff's office car and debris just everywhere. Obviously debris picked up and moved all the way across. Again, we are on business 85. This is southbound traffic that you're seeing come this way. This semi had come off of the interstate and there is just damage thrown all around. But this is what I want to show you across the street. Now it's very hard to see, but right here is actually part of the building that collapsed on ADO's building across the street on business 85. You can see that there's a roof that's come down over here, ambulances all around. We've got North Spartanburg and Hilltop Fire District that are trying to help out here. There's debris from cars in the roadway. It literally looks just like a, uh, a, a storm. I've never seen anything like this. I'm actually at a loss for words. We were told that there were a few trees down over here, and obviously you can see such much worse. Sir, are these one of your cars? No, do you work here for the college? Would you mind talking with us? I'm with Channel 7. Not sure I know much. So, um, I'm, I'm Brianna Smith, and what's your name? My name's Greg Bond. Greg, and so were you here during the storm? Yes. So what were you hearing out there? Well, unfortunately, well, fortunately, rather, my office is more or less in the basement back here where everybody came running when they heard that freight train sound you hear about. So you heard the freight train sound? The others did. I was in my office. You're in your office. What did you think when you walked out to see all of these trees down? Don't expect to see this. You hear about tornadoes. It's all, always the other guy. Yeah. This is crazy. I mean, this clearly looks like a, a war zone now, it does. what we're seeing. Have you ever been through something like this at Spartanburg Community no, College? I haven't. Anywhere, here or anywhere else. So, when you walked outside, obviously ADO has collapsed over there. Where, did you see a fire over there or did you see anything? Where they're spraying the water now, there was a fair amount of fire coming out of the building. Okay, so there was a fire there at some yes. point. We really appreciate it. Sure Thank thanks. you. So, obviously, people, a lot of people just standing around out here. Um, you know, just standing around. My sister was actually just on the road traveling from Boiling Springs to the west side of Spartanburg. Heavy, heavy downpour. Um, and so what we're seeing is is just the aftermath of that. I'm gonna turn it around and, and again show everything else that's going on. So actually I'm stepping through metal, debris everywhere. Is this your car, ma'am? You were in it? We're actually live on Facebook right now with Channel 7. So you were. this is your car? Show yes. me a little bit about what you've got. Driving to work. You were driving. This woman was driving to work, and your windows busted out while you were driving. I in drove it? into it, right in, right into the middle of it, and I just pulled over and I, I ducked, laid down on the seat, and I thought, oh god, this is it. You know, it's like my car tipped up, went up on two wheels, and I thought I was going over. <laughs> Did you see a funnel cloud? Yes. Did you see? It was, it was everywhere. I mean, it was everywhere in the area around everything. I mean, I could just see it whirling around my car. It was scary. Have you ever experienced something like never. that? Never. I'm a northerner. I'm from Maine. So I've never experienced anything like this in my life, ever. I'm sorry. I can tell you're shaking up. I'm sorry. So the, it really, it went through your window. Yes. I think that cut up a little bit, not bad, but Actually, I but got lucky. You got so lucky. What are you thinking about now? Well, I've talked with my friends and my boss at work. I, I work down the road here at uh, Coopo, and I'm going to... As soon as I get myself calmed down enough, I'm going to go down there and they're going to help me get some plastic on my window so I can at least get home. Do you need a jacket? We have one. I'd appreciate it. Do you need a jacket? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, come on. We'll, we'll take you back to the... I've got an extra jacket. So I'm going to turn this off. Just, or I'm actually just going to keep it going. As you can see that the fire department's uh, standing out here and we're going to get my new friend. What's your name? Janine Abbott. Janine Abbott. We're going to get Janine a jacket. But you can see just the devastation of... Uh, what's going on here across Spartanburg Community College right now. Trees down everywhere, a semi sideways, and a business fire and a business collapse across the street. 
you've got kids and professors that are out everywhere just completely torn down and falling over.